Deeds in a weekend theft that left an award-winning high school program with nothing to show for years of hard work. Dave Marquis reports. Losses to the robbers came to nearly $7,000 and included television cameras, cassette decks, turntables, microphones, and other equipment crucial to the program. For the 50 students in Fred Mann's radio TV classes, it meant that a good part of four years of hard work vanished in one night. Senior Vernon Grainer was the chief engineer for McAllen High's KMAC TV. I've been in the course for the four years and the radio station we've been working on for all this time. By the time the insurance claim is settled and everything, I'll be graduated. So my senior year in KMAC is over because of this uh, break-in. A bulletin board in the studio is filled with letters from former students who have used the hands-on experience to find jobs in radio and television. Today, class members counted up the losses and wondered where the program will go from here. For teacher Fred Mann, the program began four years ago with a public address system radio show. Now, students produce full-scale radio and television programs, including a quiz show for fifth graders that airs on local cable television. Well, it's going to be a lot less participation, you know, since we're down to one camera and one VTR. We, it's, in, a, in a sense, we can't use the control room right now. But I want to emphasize we're still going to be able to do quiz ball, even if we only have one camera. The thieves made their way into the studio by removing ceiling panels, and some students feel the robbery may have been an inside job. McAllen principal John Graham says the thefts are just part of a recurring security problem faced by local schools. Dave Marquis, New Center 4, McAllen.